a lot that I don't know that's ahead. I know that there is greatness in the future and there is, 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 is uh, going to be uh, good things that God is going to be unveiling uh, in the future too as well. Um, what I, I like to share, Co-Pastor, before is, is, is I'm sensing that we're coming towards the end. And that is to remind parents again of a topic that we discussed in our first podcast. And it's something I'm still using. I've recommended it to my grandchildren and to many teachers. And that's journaling. And when I say journaling, you, you've heard co-pastors say sometimes we don't know the answer. We don't know who we, we should go to speak to. We don't know how to solve an issue. Yes. Serve a God who knows. Yes. And he meets us many times during the most precious parts of our, our, our time intimately where he can get our attention. And sometimes it might be just when you're going off to sleep and the Lord places an idea or suggestion you need to have a journal, no more than a composition book or something nearby. I know for me, when I first started, one thing he reminded me was this is not a time to use it as a diary to describe your emotions or your sadness or the trauma. This is the time for you to write my voice, for you to write down what I'm instructing you or to draw it whatever it may be. So it's good to have a journal and even your children. If they're young and they have nightmares, they're waking up crying because of this uncertainty, because of just not being sure of what the next day is going to be like, allow them to have just a black and white composition book where they can have a crayon, even if they feel like scribbling, and they scribble in a particular color. Yeah. Parents, that opens the door for conversation and connection with, why did you choose that color? Can you tell me what the scribble is about? As teenagers, even with journaling, many of them love music. Mm -hmm. and allowing them to even share with you what their favorite music is, and you listen to the lyrics. You listen to them, you write those words down, and the Lord will guide you in conversation to connect even more with your young folks. But I'm also talking about you as parents and as teachers. We're entering uncertain territory as far as in the natural. But God has the answer, and sometimes he, he's a refreshing God. Yes. So it, yes. It, it's like he wants to catch you where you're fresh too, so you can hear. And sometimes we say, you know, God gave me a good idea, but I just can't think about it. As soon as he gives it to you, you need to jot it or jot some kind of figure or something down to help you remember I have a habit now because of, of sometimes I don't turn the light on when I know the Lord is speaking to me and that there's a scripture or something he'll put on my heart. I've learned to have just my journal and I'll write it that just, just blindly open a page where I just take my pencil and jot that down so I know that when I can get up without disturbing my husband or whatever, the Lord knows, but he's saying, daughter, do you hear my voice? Yeah. Will you respond long enough to at least jot this down? Will you respond long enough to pay attention to your child's scribbles and things that they're doing when they're, quote, in their relaxing enjoyment time? Because it opens the door of connection. Yes. We need to stay connected with every member in our household. And the Lord will show you how, even with the oldest of children to the youngest of them, there is a way, a method the Lord has for you to stay connected. And that child and, and the other members of the family can see you really care. 
you really want to hear, even though you have many other things that you have going on. So the journaling piece, I can't express that enough. I have journaled for years now in the joy of going back and seeing how God has answered. When I switch from writing my emotions and, and, and my woe is me, yes. just jotting, what is God saying to me? Or looking at my child's scribble, I still have some of their early journals and they'll let me know, uh, that butterfly came in my room when I was sleeping. And all they did was scribble on a paper, but they had a nightmare. Right. And so all I did was jot that down because I knew in a moment where it was uh, quiet, we could bring up, are you afraid of butterflies? Is there something else that, that's going on? Right. The Holy Spirit is here to guide us. That's what God wants us to do is to tap in, tap in to his wisdom and his guidance. And many times we feel so cumbered with things that we have to do, but yet it doesn't stop the Lord from speaking to us. Yes. And if absolutely. we take a moment to just jot it, he, he knows she's going to oh, get yes. back with me when you, but she knows she heard my voice yes. so i i just wanted a uh, co-pastor yeah, that was good remember yes. that there are tools and ways that we can stay connected because you're going to get hit with math social studies mm -hmm. reading many content areas that you have never Yes. Been God knows I hate, excuse him for using this term, I didn't care for math. I didn't like it. But yeah, I had to teach my children calculus. Lord, help me. Yes. And I had to get a journal so he could even tell me what book, when I went to the bookstore, what I needed so I could begin to prepare myself to ensure that my children would be successful. Yes, so. yes. It, it, that all falls in line with God's nature because even in the word he ta tells us to write the vision and make it yes. plain. So when God is downloading things, and it, if, whether it's when you're um, in your bedroom at night or whatever, or just throughout the day, that's him giving you glimpses of the vision, you know, that connects to the bigger picture. So when you write it, you're making it plain so that you can run, you know. And so it's a simple principle, but it's the word too as well. Yes. But definitely that is very, very helpful. Um, and, and that's one of the things that I've been pushing even with my young one. I, I've gotten her some journals that are fun looking, you know, right. uh, you know, that can kind of intrigue her a little bit more and, and, um, but being very intentional about helping her to learn how to, to, to embrace that, that particular tool, you know, mm -hmm. of journaling. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so thank you so much, Dr. O, that is so yes. good. And so we've covered quite a few things, you know, um, basic expectations and um, practical guidelines that you've given us. You know, we talked about um, parent teacher, you know, quality and reaching out to the teacher, making that connection with administration. This is the time where you must, you absolutely have to make those yeah. connections. And so um, I know that, you know, I've shared in, in the previous podcast as well about resources too as well mm -hmm. and we started out at the beginning of this year with a book that um that is just a, a staple and that is the disciplines i don't know if it's going to yes. come out right or not <laughs> disciplines family. of a godly family and this it really encapsulates a lot of things that you talked about with with scheduling and different things but also it ties in the spiritual aspect yes, of it um, that when you have those disciplines and journaling is a discipline you know yes. um, writing schedules that's a discipline um, but just other things um, that you can do and certainly it, it is a, a great benefit um, to my family and for those who have read it have said this is a hallmark um, yes. uh, book. And so I want to encourage you to get a hold of that. 
But even um, along the same lines, we have a Transformation Institute class that we are going to be releasing two classes that are going to be made um, uh, uh, available through our Transformation Institute classes online. And one is the disciplines of a godly Excellent. woman, and the other is the discipline of a godly Good. man. Perfect. So certainly it takes a man and a woman to make a family. <laughs> yes. So, um, so this, I believe it would be very helpful um, to those who are just looking to be strengthened. But also another resource, Dr. Rowe, that I shared with you was um, Danny Silk's resources <gasps> oh, um, from the Life Academy. And to me, that has been a major help. I told you about how I feel like I'm going back to school and I'm taking classes and learning stuff myself about parenting. And I know it sounds funny. It's like, you're this old and you've had three mm. adult kids. No, things are ever changing and all that. And I'm ever changing and my, my child is ever changing. So I found some resources through what he's made available Excellent. and they have just been phenomenal and i know you've partaken of those resources oh um, my oh my parenting uh parent uh in teachers uh if you're looking for for a resource that will help you on your day-to-day -day walk your day-to-day -day interaction the loving on purpose life academy um with uh, Danny Silk online, I highly recommend. You've yes. heard me use the term connection uh, during this podcast, and I've used it quite a bit. If you want to go through a self-examination journey about, am I connected? The quality of connection in my family you need to log on and think about taking that course. Yes. It was the most personable course I have ever taken, right down to asking me, what do you want your family to be famous for? Yeah. Never That's even thought good. about it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What is it that I want my family to be known for? And am I about that business? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't if you aren't connected. Right. And I thought I understood connection. Our, our bishop has ministered extensively, but if you want an intimate self-examining approach mm -hmm. so yeah. that you can look at your own personal profile of where you are, uh, I highly recommend that co-pastor. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. And, and uh, we're gonna leave uh, the credits uh, as far as how to get to that, but yes. the website is loplifeacademy.com. And when we were partaking of these, I mean, they, they had slashed their prices to yes, like $10 they. per mm -hmm. course. So I know we were able to get in on that. We had uh, we made that resource available through our last podcast, but they have increased their, um, you know, their pricing. But it's still reasonable, I it's feel, worth it. um, based on what they've made available. Oh. Just excellent, excellent resources. So they have, of course, the parenting class. They also have um, dealing with leadership. Um, mm -hmm dealing with conf confrontation. Which is um, very helpful with our yeah. teens and how mm -hmm. to address this. Yes, this yeah. Yes. Yeah, and so um, so it's just a gamut. They have quite a few, and you can get a bundle. You know, you can take yes. a couple of them together, like leadership, relationship, and parenting. It's just excellent. It just really helped me, and I'm, I really have to go back and re-listen. Even though I have notes, I took quizzes, and things like that, yes. um, I still want to go back because there's so much that was helpful in helping me to make adjustments, but I want to make sure that they're lasting adjustments. That yes. That's not just something, oh, I'm going to try out for now, but these, these are things that I want to make sure that it's, it's embedded in me so that it flows out of me naturally, not something I'm trying to remember you know, from what was taught. 
but excellent resources. So we encourage you to get involved with that. But we, uh, we, we're reaching out to you because we want to remain connected, you know. And so as we release these resources, as we release these podcasts, this information, we're thinking of you. If there are specific questions that you may have, certainly um, we're going to provide a venue by way that you may be able to share uh, those questions so that as we go into future um, messages that we'll be able to address those. Um, and so we're thankful for it. We want to make sure that you get involved with our Facebook parenting support group. It's parenting family support group. So you go on our main Facebook page and you scroll down to where there are groups and you'll see the parenting family support group and just uh, just click that inv uh, uh, invitation um, tab and, and, and you'll get uh, a response back um, to be a part of that group. And that's where we'll share a lot of different things um, and, and we'll have a good community of teachers and educators and parents and homeschooler, <laughs> you know, and as well as there may be some students that may be involved in that as well. So it'll be a lot of information circling around that you will have privy to if you become a part of that group. It's not meant for anything other than that, but to right. provide that support as a community with one another and to give access to the tools that we have amongst us by way of human resources, but also uh, just uh, printed resources and, and, and things such as uh, Danny Silk's website and the resources that he provides through that. But thank you so much, Dr. Rowe. I certainly yes, appreciate, you, appreciate you taking the time to share. We've just scratched the surface. There's so much Here's more that we're going to be sharing. <laughs> yes. And so we're going to unpack this and continue to, you know, uh, share as much as we can. Uh, and then we're going to also have other uh, guests that will come and be a part. Yeah. Um, but again, we're empowering one another, each other, lifting one another up. We are victorious and we're going to remain victorious through whatever is thrown our way, whatever comes our way. We are winners, and we thank yes. God that he makes yes. it all possible. So yes. once again, thank you, and God bless you.